Hello everybody, it's Jill with Greenwood Girl Cards and it's Friday night. Welcome back to my channel. <clears throat> I'm coming on to share a little thrift store haul that I did a couple weeks back, a couple weekends back, um, in a town that's north of where I live. Um, there's a little thrift store up there that I like to go to occasionally and uh, they always have really good sales um, where like their fabrics and all of their linens will be 50% off and that's what happened the day that I went. Um, so you get everything for like 50 cents to a buck. And so um, these are the things that I picked up. I picked up this really cute little blue doily. I'm always looking for colored doilies, like solid color doilies, so that if I make a card with blues in it, for example, I can take a picture. And uh, so I love, I love finding doilies. So this is one that I found. And I know a lot of you collect like the old doilies and then you'll cut these up and use these as motifs on your cards. Um, but I tend to just keep them because I'm a crocheter and I know how long it takes to make something like this. I have a harder time cutting them up, but there are definitely ones that are in bad shape, you know, where some of the pieces are, um, you know, already frayed or whatever, and those are ones that I will give a second life to. But when it's in really good shape like this, I tend to keep them whole. So I just love the beautiful workmanship on this. So I got that one, I think it was like 50 cents, quarter, something like that. And then I found this one, and uh, this is a nice round one. And it has a really pretty, you know, scalloped fluted edge. And there is some discoloration on it, which I could soak this and probably get the stains out. And uh, this one was a dollar, so it was half price. And uh, it ended up just being a dollar. And uh, I just think it's such a pretty pattern. I love this centerpiece. And then you've got the like triple crochets going all the way around. And then this beautiful border that they did on the edges. So really pretty. That'll be fun to use for photo, uh, photography for photographing my projects. And then there was this one here. And this one has the beautiful like pineapple lace edge. And it is attached onto um, a beautiful piece of linen. And it's a big circular one. So a big circle piece of linen. These are wonderful on the center of your dining room table. Like at Thanksgiving, if you're doing a beautiful centerpiece, these are really nice to have. So um, this workmanship is absolutely gorgeous. These beautiful pineapple um, doilies that they've crocheted. And uh, it's all around the edge of this beautiful piece of linen. And these are just really so fun to have. And again, this was a buck because it was half off. So... I got that that one there, and then I saw these, and I thought of you, Susan, um, and I remember making something very similar to this for my parents when I was a young girl, um, and it reminded me of that, too, but these, this is a couple of placemats that were crocheted for Christmas, and they're crocheted out of red and white acrylic yarn with some green yarn um, threaded through and uh, tied with a little bow here. And uh, these, I think I paid a buck a piece for them, but just absolutely beautiful workmanship, whoever made these. And uh, I thought these would be so cute to film like Christmas tags on or take pictures of some of my Christmas things that I do. Um, there's the upcoming, uh, you know, there's an upcoming gingerbread YouTube hop that's gonna be happening in February. Um, that uh, Betty of Scrap Passion 01 is hosting with a wonderful cast of people. Um, and uh, so I just thought it might be come in handy for some of those things. So uh, I just think it's so pretty. Um, and I know how long it takes to make stuff like that. Um, I'll get to this in a minute. Let me keep going with the thrift haul. Um, and then there's this beautiful bundle. Um, this was a buck. And this is just some pieces of batting. And uh, bat, if you've never felt batting before, it's, it's almost like a felt. Um, this is what it looks like. It's a little bit thicker and looser weave. And uh, this, I've seen a lot of projects made using batting. I've seen people make snowmen out of them, snowmen ornaments, different, just all different things. Um, if you ever look at Stampington Magazine or some of the other craft magazines or just even sewing um, books and stuff, I've seen lots of neat things done with this. And so they had this there and this was a buck for some just scrap pieces. And uh, I always love to pick stuff like this up when it's a dollar. Um, cause I will definitely make something with that. And then, um, I did find a few stamps, um, and these are some Stampin' Up! stamps. 
Let's see if I can open this again. Um, and it's just these little ones. I, I got it for this little bird holding the heart. And uh, you know, I love to stamp the backs of my cards with little images or put little tags on them or something just to decorate the back as well as the front and the inside. And so I thought this was really sweet. And I also like this thinking of you as a nice thing to do. And uh, so that would be really sweet too as a, as a sentiment. So um, you could just stamp that on the back of your card and when they flip it over, that's what they would read. So um, anyway, I look at that little uh, hedgehog with the little butterfly and that's from a 2002 Stampin' Up! set. So um, this whole thing is, is from 2002 and it's just a little four bar set. So, um, and I think I paid just a buck 50 or something for that, not much. And then the other thing that I found um, was this one here, and I don't, you guys might recognize this. This was done the year my son was born, 2004. And this one is Yuletide Montage. And uh, I've always loved this set. Never bought it, but um, I couldn't pass it up for the price there. And I absolutely adore this image right here of the angel. And it, you can kind of see it says Silent Night in the, ba in the background. And, uh, and then it has a little December 25th uh, postmark over here. And it has this little border here. And uh, it's just a really neat image. You can stamp this um, on in brown ink on just a really beautiful cream watercolor paper and, uh, and just ink the edges and put a nice uh, velvet ribbon in it. And it's just stunning. So I've seen lots of neat projects with this set over the years. This is the Santa and it's a beautiful image also. The only thing that it's missing is it doesn't have this Merry Christmas, but I have so many Merry Christmas sentiments that I wasn't worried about that. And it does have other things in here. Um, whoever was getting rid of this uh, did put a couple other little stamps in. And one of them is this little bird holding a flower, which I thought was adorable. It's a little seagull, I think. And then this one is just three little flowers. So this would be really cute on the back of some of my spring cards. Um, you know, so just really sweet. And again, the only thing it's missing is that Merry Christmas stamp. And it does have this, which is a little like fleur de -lis, um, thing that you can use at the top. And, uh, and then this little wreath. So just really nice to have little things like this in your stash. So, and uh, these are just a nice red rubber. And then these ones are purple. Okay. So that is everything uh, from the stamps that I got. And then uh, the other thing that I got, I, I found this little roll of string and I paid 50 cents for this. And then this beautiful piece of milk glass was sitting in the store when I got there. And I thought, oh, that's meant for me. <laughs> um, I love these fluted edged pieces of milk glass. This one has a little bit of staining and dirt in it, but I, I'm sure I'll be able to clean it. And uh, it's the beautiful um, grape leaf pattern. And I love the fluted bottom here. So this will be perfect to even just put all my many, many things of twine in. Um, there's quite a few here uh, sitting on my desk kind of loose. So for now, I'm probably gonna put all my twine in there. Um, I am working on my craft room, which I tend to do every year in January. I try to get reorganized for the year. And I always decide to move things around and do things different each year. You're just, your tastes change, the way you do things changes, I don't know. But um, it also just helps you to look at everything and to know what you have, to let go of things that maybe you feel you'd, you're not going to use and uh, make room for things that you will. So uh, I'm, I'm in the process of trying to do that as time permits. Um, so that's kind of fun. But uh, I, I, this will be my one little new thing for uh, my desktop. And then the last thing I wanted to share um, is this paper that I'm going to be using to make some cards this weekend for my Saturday Morning Makes episode. Uh, <clears throat> when I was not feeling good, I was surfing looking for papers. And specifically, I was looking for some blue flowers or some blue florals or English florals. And I typed in English floral papers, and this set of papers came up. It's from an Etsy shop called Chapter One Designs, I think, or something. And uh, so I ordered this set of papers and I'll, I'll link it down below if you're interested. Um, this is the paper printed as an A2 card front size. This is what it looks like printed full size, which would be gorgeous. Like if you're making, you know, a journal or something, wouldn't that be pretty? Oh, it's just such a beautiful paper. I love how it has the hints of purple and, you know, 
the darker, uh, this is like an orange, and then there's little bits of purple, and then these beautiful green leaves, and I love the way they did the white over the flowers, either as if the sun is hitting it, or as if there's um, almost like dew or something on it. So it's just a beautiful paper. I fell in love with this, and this was why I bought the collection, was specifically for this paper, um, because I love things with kind of this brownish, creamish uh, background color. Um, I'm really into earth tones and I don't know. I found this paper too. Um, I ended up not, uh, you know, uh, this is just another one that I have. It kind of has like some, uh, distress in it. Uh, and then this, so this is separate from the, this, but these are the papers that are in this kit. So it's that one there, this one there, and these are printed as a, an A2 card front. And then I forgot to print this one as A2, but this is another one that's in there. So, um, and then this is what this one looks like, full size versus A2. So I just thought these were really pretty. Specifically, I bought it for probably the two floral papers the most. Um, but anyway, uh, I just, I, my house is kind of a bluish color and I just like, um, I like, I just like this paper. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And then this is that beautiful melon berry color. And uh, when I printed it smaller, it sort of dulls it down a little bit, if you will. But in the full size, it's just stunning. So anyway, those are some papers. And that is about all I have to share with you tonight. Um, I had a lot of fun uh, doing my little thrifty haul and, uh, and just finding these little uh, goodies. So... A uh, little bit of thrifting, a little bit of surfing on Etsy looking for digitals, and uh, I think this was just a couple bucks. I can't remember how much it cost, but I'll link it down below. Uh, and, you know, with Etsy, you have to watch for things to go on sale because sometimes you'll see a kit and it's full price. Then you wait till Saturday and it's on sale. So just always watch. If you're interested in something, add it to your cart and then just go back and check to see if it goes on sale because there's a lot of sales and a lot of times you can find something and get some pretty good deals, especially on the weekends. So, um, all right, that's about it for me tonight. I look forward to filming Saturday Morning Makes. Um, and sharing my weekend with you guys and seeing what everybody's been up to. So I look forward to uh, seeing everybody's projects, okay? All right, take good care. Bye now.